Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We're going to build the new Lego Friends Heart Lake Supermarket today. This is a four plus set, which means that it is quick and easy to build. There are some nice big preform pieces, which means you can get in and start playing a lot quicker. And because it's Lego, it's it's easy to build and you've got a, like a quality play set at the end of it instead of one that falls apart all the time. <laughs> so we've got three bags and we've got our instructions and we've got, ooh, uh, okay, we've got lots of things. So let's start with the mini dolls, the characters. We've got Stephanie as one of them and she's wearing her, well, her, her trademark Stephanie outfit with her star necklace and her little sports shoes. So she's ready. I don't know quite what she's going to do at the supermarket, but she's here. She's going to help. And we've got Olivia, who's also wearing her trademark Olivia outfit with the cog necklace. So the girls are ready. The question is, are you ready? I think we are. I think we're all ready. Okay, so we've got the girls. Now we get the supermarket. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, so we don't get the supermarket. We get a car. <laughs> Why do we get a car? I suppose, I suppose we need a way to get to the supermarket. So we need a car. Not certain which one of these girls is actually the right age to drive. <laughs> How old do you think the Lego Friends girls are anyway? I'm just not sure. I, they, they can drive, obviously, so maybe they're 16 or something like that. 16 and a half. How old do you have to be in your country to, to be legally able to drive? Hmm. Okay, so we've got a steering wheel in here. We've got enough pieces in there, which means that we can actually hold Stephanie in the car. But now I need to put her arms up so that she, so that we can build around her. We've got the brake lights on the back, and we've got a little box at the back for Olivia to ride in. Probably not. <laughs> it's probably not its function. I'm gonna guess that that is actually for putting the groceries in. So this is how we get the groceries home from the supermarket. Of course. <laughs> okay, and we've got a lovely printed piece, which <laughs> she just ran into Olivia. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, they might be old enough to drive, but they're not very good at it. We're up to bag number two, which has got <gasps> a new shopping trolley or a grocery cart. What do you call it? We call it a shopping trolley here in Australia, but I know that in other countries they call it a grocery cart. Oh, okay, this is cool because it's actually designed so the mini dolls can hold it. Oh, I know, maybe they should have a race. Who's gonna win? It's gonna, yeah, okay, well, this is gonna be the car. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. Oh, Olivia, that's not very sportsmanlike. Okay, let's get on and build the supermarket. So we've got this nice big preformed blue piece, which is going to be the base of the supermarket. Here we've got a, a little ramp or a slope of some sort. And this here looks like it's going to be the front end entryway into the new supermarket. Okay, these white bricks over here are holding our little ramp on and we've got some fencing pieces. This is the trolley return. Oh, it's a bit sad there's only one trolley. <laughs> so only one person can shop at a time. <laughs> it's a very low key shopping center. Okay, we've got, oh, look at the printed pieces here. We got signed with $3 for carrots, $5 avocados. There's a nice big advertisement for the new cereal that they're stocking in here. We got some big windows in and the door, which we need to put the door handle on the right way. There we go. So this is the front entryway into the supermarket. Oh, that's cute. And it's big enough, very nice. It's big enough for the trolley, the shopping trolley to actually go through the door. Okay, we've got some pretty little pot plants on either side of the door. They're very welcoming. And some pink awnings overhanging our little printed pieces. They're the little signs. Okay, this is looking really, really good. What are we gonna put up here on the top? Just some nice colored wedges and Ah, oh, a stripey awning. That's a nice big awning. That means that if you're standing down there in front of the supermarket waiting for your car to come around, you're not going to get too wet. Oh, cool. Okay. And up here on the tippy top, we've got a nice big sign, which we're going to be able to see in the distance. Uh, so we can see where the actual grocery market is. Grocery store. The supermarket. We can call it whatever we want. The place where you go to get your groceries. Okay, we've got a nice big display stand here for... Okay, so we've got milk and juice and maybe some wine and some cereal. Oh, that's a cool new printed cereal box. I like that. And we've got, oh, the place where you can actually come and check it out. You go bip, bip, bip along the red part and we've got a hundred dollars and that's just hanging off that cash register there. We might have to give that to whoever's gonna be doing the shopping. 
Olivia is already in here. She is <laughs> over here checking out what new products the, the supermarket has because it hasn't been open very long. In fact, it's actually not open yet, so she probably shouldn't be in here. But anyway, we're up to bag number three. Let's see what else we're going to be adding to our supermarket. We've got another, well, we're building another little box. This one looks like it might be a cold, like for cold storage. Oh, it is. Okay, so there's a fish in here and an ice lolly. Ew! In together with the fish? Okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> I understand that that's like the refrigerator, the freezer section, but... Ew! Okay, need to move on from that, but still, ew! Okay, we've got <laughs> fresh produce here. we got banana and an apple and a carrot. These are okay to hang out together in the same <laughs> in the same little section, and but no, not not the popsicle and the fish. That's just ill. <laughs> All right, let me concentrate on what else we're building here. So we have got something with some little downward dispensers, maybe uh, maybe soda. I don't know. Uh, and here we've got a display window for the baked goods for a croissant, and on the top we've got some. Oh, so it's a milkshake or an iced, like an iced chocolate or an iced strawberry. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I would like one of them right now. But we have to keep, we have to, we have to keep building. We need to see how this is all going together because there's not too much left to go now before we can play with it. So this here has got a very nice little printed sign there with our little iced sundae on the top. And I think we are ready. These are all the pieces. We can arrange them however we want for however we want to play. This is exciting. Okay, so let's send Olivia out to do the very first shop at the new Heart Lake supermarket. She's arrived here today and she's going to, she can't park at the front. She's going to maybe not park that way, maybe park with the back out so that when you bring the groceries out, it's really easy to put them in. See, that's thinking. Up here for thinking. She's got, she's got oh, her $100. So she's ready to go shopping. She checked out the fresh produce, but she has to go and get the trolley first. So she's thrown her money in the trolley, which is a terrible idea. And she's going to get a carrot, okay, and an apple, nice, and a banana. All right, fresh produce is all in Olivia's basket and it is sold out. Okay. Oh, look, hi, Stephanie. It looks like Stephanie is on the registers today. This must be her part time job. Let's see what's over here. Over here, she can have. Oh, she's going to get some wine that might be like, might be some uh, sparkling apple juice. And she's got the cereal and she's got the juice and she needs milk. Oh no, how are we going to fit all this in the trolley? We can stack them. <laughs> Lego's awesome. Uh, okay, even Olivia's not going to buy that fish or that ice lolly because that's, ew. But she is going to buy the croissant and no. No, you can't possibly. She is. She's buying the uh, the iced strawberry and the iced chocolate smoothie. Right, that trolley is so full. Does she have enough money for all of this? Well, of course she does. It comes to exactly one hundred dollars. That is amazing. Oh, she's dropping stuff on the way out. How are we going to get this in the car? Oh, okay, that's a quick and easy way. Nice. Uh, all right, so maybe return the shopping trolley now for the next shopper, though there's not really much left in this shop to buy. <laughs> I think Stephanie's going to need to restock. We need to figure out how we're going to get Olivia into this car because it's currently full of groceries. And there's nowhere. She's turning it around by hand. That's interesting. Maybe if we move some of these. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if we stack them up here <laughs> and we try and put the rest of the stuff in the back, Oh my goodness. And maybe the apple on her lap for a bit of a munch while she drives. This is terribly dangerous. And she can get the groceries off home. Bye, Olivia. That was a very, very productive shopping trip. And meanwhile, Stephanie. Yeah, I don't know, Stephanie. I, all you've got left in the shop is that fish and that popsicle. And I don't know that anyone is going to want to buy them. So it might, you might have to think about a different way to uh, store them. Because that's ill. <laughs> it's ill. <laughs> I've got no more words. <laughs> Ew, popsicle fish. Fishy popsicle. It's disgusting. All right. <laughs> We've come to the end of the build. There are so many more ways we can play with this, but we don't have time to do that today. And I'm just staring at that popsicle and that fish. And it's just disgusting. So make sure you subscribe. Now is the time. Leave me a comment. Tell me, would you eat a fish flavored popsicle? <laughs> I'll be back with a new video very, very soon. <laughs> so I'll see you then. Bye. Ew.